we have with us uh, Mr. Kumar from Citrix R&D, another winner of the Facility Management Leadership Award 2015. So many, many congratulations on winning this award, sir. How does Thank it you. feel to be a winner tonight? It's a great, great, you know, honor. And uh, more than anything, it's a great networking here to meet fellow colleagues and uh, industry experts across India. Perfect. So tell us a little bit about uh, about your career. How did you start off and you know, um, where did you start your career? How did you happen to become a facility manager? I think about uh, 20 years ago, uh, I started my career uh, in a factory uh, with uh, electrical and PCB assembly and testing. From there, uh, somehow uh, my dream was to manage uh, offices. Okay. okay. And fortunately, I happened to work uh, in a great organization, Wipro, close to 20 years ago. Uh, from there, my journey started, Wipro, it's a long innings, close to 8 years. From there, I got an opportunity to work with uh, other great German-based uh, organization, SAP. Again, there I work for about 11 all years. All facility management. All facility management okay. and also project management. Okay. So, it's from start to end. Right. It's a wonderful experience, right. I can say. Okay. What is this badge you are wearing? You seem to be passionately wearing one particular label pin that says MCR. What is that? Uh, the MCR is a Master of Corporate Realist. Okay. I'm a postgraduate uh, you know, MCR from okay. uh, Coronet to USA. Right. So, now I'm pursuing uh, SLCR, that is Senior Leadership Leaders of corporate real estate okay. and currently now I am working uh, in a other great US based organization Citrix. I am enjoying my profession. Excellent. Great to hear that. So uh, there are a lot of youngsters who are watching this video. You have 20 years plus of experience in facility management alone. So for those people who are just starting their career as facility managers, what is your advice to them if they have to become leaders like yourself someday? My suggestion is you know get into deep dive. Okay? take complete ownership on whatever you are going to do that could be a small job or a big job take 100 percent ownership and no compromise on integrity integrity is the topmost priority with ownership and dedication i'm sure every youngsters will be able to achieve their goal excellent very well said sir that's really advice for youngsters to take seriously uh, the next thing i want to ask you mr kumar is uh, uh, I'm sure as a facility manager, there is a lot of projects that you're handling, a lot of initiatives that is going on currently as we speak. What is the most interesting initiative that you are most excited about? See, I'm more passionate about sustainability. Okay. okay. I keep doing many projects on sustainability. Today, uh, I'm driving towards carbon footprint reduction projects in my current organization, Citrix. On top of that, new office space project where uh, I have an opportunity to create vibrant office space for our colleagues in Citrix organization. I think I can quote these two projects at this point of time. Okay. So 20 years, I'm sure you've seen a lot of changes happening in the facility management field. How do you keep yourself up to date about the latest uh, technologies, latest activities happening in the facility management field? Do you, is it blogs, is it books, is it events or, or whatever? Which is the best way for you to stay updated about the latest? I can say two or three things. One is uh, networking like this. I don't miss any of the seminars or summit like this I attend I get to know the new things what is happening in the industry through panel discussions or presentation from industry expert number one number two good networking with my other companies counterparts number three I'm a member of FM zone close mem uh, and uh, Cornet IFMA and so on so that you uh, know I will get to know what is happening in the industry through my friends in all these forums fantastic fantastic so you you mentioned a lot about forums so let's let me put it this way uh, uh ce worldwide and fmla uh, organize a lot of uh, events like this what is the specific uh, you know importance or relevance of events like this that you see what is the one single largest benefit that you look from attending events like this great networking and learning Okay, so um, I'm sure as a facility manager, there are a lot of challenges that you come across every day. It's a common thing for you to handle challenges. But if I were to ask you one particular situation which you can think of, this this was a really a big challenge and how did you overcome that kind of a challenge? Any instance that comes to your mind? There are many challenges actually uh, because for us, our employees are customers. Okay, and since we are in facility management, uh, that could be a very small issues or big issues that would be a challenge for us then we will work towards customer satisfaction. I cannot say one, 
we we, we always work with you know challenges okay. Right. okay on a more personal note you you seem extremely fit right but uh, you you don't definitely don't look like a person who has 20 years of experience you look much younger than that what is the secret to your fitness i think uh, um, yoga okay okay uh, i i started uh, uh, practicing yoga i think about 15 years ago okay. uh, but of late i'm not regular but still uh, uh, whenever i find time i practice yoga and pranayama i think i encourage and you know request everyone to practice yoga right. that would uh, keep every individual you know fit and perfect I think that's that's great advice. Uh, Mr. Modi has the same opinion as you. <laughs> so uh, tell me a little bit more about your passion, your um, your hobbies. What is it that keeps you excited on weekends? Weekends, I spend uh, um, time with my children. Number one. Number two. I have. Uh, I think uh, I don't find time to watch television. But uh, if opportunity or time permits, I would love to watch television. Okay. Okay. And other things uh, like you know, spend time with family. So being a facility manager, are you able to find sufficient time to spend with your family? So um, what's your comment on the work-life balance uh, in your office, in your life and your advice to anybody else uh, who is a facility manager? Honest answer is it would be challenging to you know, do right work-life balance. But off late, thankfully, I'll be able to manage my work-life very well. Okay. All right. Great speaking to you, sir. It was fantastic. One last question before I let you go. Do you have a role model? Who is that? There are many role models. I cannot say one because I work with great leaders in my professional career. I should name few of them like you know B.R. Nagraj or Ramakrishnan or SMR. There are many leaders. I, I learned to e uh, many things from each and every one of my leaders. Uh, a credit goes to all my uh, you know, uh, managers, mentors in my whole career of 20 years. It's not one. I, ca I would like to take this opportunity to thank all my managers in my whole 20 year careers thanks to every one of them i learned specific or uh, uh, no learning from each and every one of my bosses it was fantastic speaking to you congratulations on being a winner again and keep inspiring us all my pleasure thank thanks you. for inviting thank my you. pleasure hi i'm shrikant acharya and i'm the ceo of offineeds.com we help businesses to plan and purchase office stationery and daily office supplies hi my name is gautam I'm the founder of Neosystem. We help more than 500 plus companies go green and do water conservation. If you watched this interview and you really liked it, you should visit www.fmwalloffame.com to watch several more interviews like this. Do not forget to like, share and comment.